Hi, Jacob Street. Today we will continue our lesson after 15 March, and our lesson today is talking about equal and simplifying fraction. Let's start. We studied before fraction, and we know that any fraction consists of numerator and denominator. Again, consists of numerator and denominator. And if you look here, you will find you have two fractions, and between them, equal sign. So, I must see which side is the complete in numerator or the denominator. If you look to the numerator, you find 4 and 8. So, it's a complete. But the denominator has 3 and missing number. So, now I must find this missing number. So, what can I do? First, I will use times or plus or minus or divided. In equal fraction, I don't use plus or minus. I only use times or divide. Again, in equal fraction, I don't use plus or minus. I use uh, times or divide. So, when I use times or divide, if the number become bigger, I use times. And if the number becomes smaller, I use divide. Again, if the number become bigger, I use times. And if the number becomes smaller, I use divide. Here you have 4. And this 4 becomes 8. 4 becomes 8. So it's bigger or smaller? It's bigger. So I must use times. But I will say 4 times what equal 8? 4 times what equal 8? It's 2. Okay? Again, 4 becomes 8, so it's bigger, so I make times. So, I'm saying 4 times what equal 8? 4 times 2. Now, in the numerator, we do times 2. So, I do times 2 in the denominator. Okay? Now, 3 times 2 equal what? Equal 6, so I write 6 here. Okay? Number 2. Number 2, 8 sixes equal what dots uh, over 24. Here I must have equal uh, complete denominator or complete numerator. Here, if you look to the numerator, you have missing number, but the denominator is complete. So look here, 6 become 24. 6 become 24. So 6 uh, become bigger or smaller? Become bigger, so I must make times. 6 times what equal 24? 6 times 4. Okay? So I make times in the denominator, denominator, so I must make times in the numerator. So it will be times 4. 8 times 4 equal what? Equal 32. Okay? Number 3, if you look here, you will find you have complete denominator and the missing number in the numerator. So, look, in 9 become 45. So, in 9 become bigger or smaller? Become bigger. And in bigger, I make times. 9 times what equal 45? 9 times 5. So, I make times here. I must make times in the numerator. Dots, what times 5 equals 30? What times 5 equals 30? It's 6. Okay? Number 4, I have missing number in the numerator and I have complete denominator. And 9 becomes 3. 9 becomes 3. So it's become greater or smaller? And 9 becomes smaller. And we said before, if the number becomes smaller, I may divide it. But divided what? 9 divided what? 12, 3. It's a 3. And I may divide it in the, in, the numerator, in the denominator. So I may divide it also in the numerator. Divide 3. 18 divided 3 equal what? Equal 6. Okay? Number 5. I have here 10 20 equal 1 over dots. If you look here, you will find you have equal, uh, 
divide. Divided what? 10 divided what equal 1? 10 divided 10. Because any number divided itself equal 1. So I do up divided 10. Also do divided 10 in the denominator. 20 divided 10 equal what? Equal 2. So 10 20 equal half. Okay? Now simplifying fraction. Simplifying a fraction means to find the smallest corresponding fraction to it. And to find this smallest fraction, we use only dividing. Again, to find the smallest fraction in the simplest form, I must use dividing. Because I have a bigger fraction and I want to find the smaller fraction. Okay? Let's start. Number one, I have six fifteenths. And I want to find the, small, the, uh, the smallest fraction, the simplifying fraction of this. Now, we said before, we must use divided. But divided what? So, if you look to the numerator, you have 6, and the denominator, you have 15. I must search in tables which table have 6 and 15. Both of them be in the same table, 6 and 15. It will be in table 3. So, and, uh, so I must do divided 3. Divided 3 in the numerator and divided 3 in the denominator. Okay? 6 divided 3 equal what? Equal 2. 15 divided 3 equal what? Equal 5. So, 6 15 equal 2 fives. Okay? Now, 21 over 70. I need to find the simplest form of this fraction. So first, I search in tables which table have 21 and 70. Okay? So if you search, you will find it's a table 7. So I make divided 7 in the numerator and in the denominator. 21 divided 7 equal what? Equal 3. 70 divided 7 equal 10. Okay, number three, you have 18 over 36. I need to find the simplest form of this fraction. So first, I must research about which table have 18 and 36. It's a table six. So I may divide six in the numerator and divide six in the denominator. 18 divided six equal what? Equal three. 36 divided 6 equal 6. So now the answer is 3 sixes. But if you search, you will find 3 and 6 become in the same table. Okay? So it's 3 sixes. It's not the simplest form of this fraction. So I must may find the simplest form. To find the simplest form, search which table have 3 and 6. It's a table 3, so I need to buy 3. 3 by the 3 equal 1. 6 by the 3 equal 2. So now the simplest form is half. Okay? Number 4, 30 over 40. Now I will search in which table I have 30 and 40. You will find 30 and 40 becoming table uh, 10 and table 5. But which table I will use? 10 or 5? I must take the greater table. So it's a 10. So I mean both of them divided by 10. 30 by the 10 equal 3. 40 by the 10 equal 4. 3 and 4 be in the same table? No. So it's the simplest form of this fraction. Number 5, 9 over 27. 9 over 27. I must search in which table I have 9 and 27. If you search, you will find it's in table 3 and table 9. Okay? So, which table I will use? 9 or 3? I will take the greater table. So, I, I make divided 9. Divided 9. 9 divided by 9. Any number divided itself equal 1. 27 divided 9 equal 3. 
Okay, so the simplest form of 9 or 27 is served. Now we reach our end today. Thank you and